Hi everyone, I'm Moonshine and I'm back. Uh, last week we talked about anxiety and how anxiety in these times is a normal response and how it can even be helpful. We also talked about you know what we can do to make sure we keep ourselves at that healthy level of you know care and anxiety so we don't burn out because yeah I ended with the whole idea that okay there are so many unknowns that are present and that's making us anxious but the fact that there are so many unknowns also shows that us that there are so many spaces that we can fill in with new things you know these things that we care about that we're worrying about um, we can supply some of the things that can fill in these blanks and when we do that we can actually do something change something in the world and um, for those who are watching these videos for the first time if you want to go watch last week's video I suppose we can leave a link in the description I also want to thank the people who reached out after watching last week's video thank you so much it really means a lot to us that you reach out and that we get to hear what you have to say and so after last week's video I've just been listening to people you know same friends my clients um, I've been looking through Twitter and I've been listening to myself too. And there seems to be this strong feeling that is slowly surfacing. And that's loneliness. Um, for me, uh, I am alone. Okay? I am isolating and I am uh, hunkered down here alone. And. Um, even if I am a person who actually prefers this kind of setup, I could even say that I'm used to it, this feeling is starting to creep up on me. Okay. And uh, I know that it's this feeling of loneliness. I've been hearing it from clients too and from friends how there's really, they're just re it's just really starting to hit them. Um, even from people who are not alone, like they're in places with uh, their families, they're not isolated, but even with that, they are starting to feel something. Like, and there's always this narrative of, you know, I know I'm lucky, I know some people are actually alone, but why do I feel so lonely? Why am I starting to feel so lonely? So maybe the question is, what is it anyway? What is this loneliness anyway? And um, I've been listening to people and um, it comes in many different ways. Uh, maybe someone's feeling lonely because someone you used to talk to pretty regularly isn't talking to you as regularly anymore. You know, because in the middle of all the chaos that's been happening, it's just not how it used to be. Maybe it doesn't even hit you like that. Maybe you're just watching something random, like a movie, and you're, you see someone do something simple and tender, like tucking a loose hair behind an ear, and suddenly you feel this, like, oh, <laughs> pain. Maybe you're in a house that's full. Maybe your house is full of people, and maybe there's lots of chatter and talk, but you also know that there's no one there you can really talk to. No one who really understands what you're going through. And because of that, you feel uncomfortable. Maybe it's not even that. Maybe you're, you're there, you're talking to your friends, you're reaching out, but you find that in the middle of your phone calls, you're distracted. Or you have nothing left to say or you just have this strong urge to just go back to mechanically scrolling your social media. Like, maybe it's these things, it's these little feelings, but they're there and we're not used to paying attention to them. Maybe it's, it's that low-key wanting to cry but not getting to cry, and it lasts like the whole day. Because really, what is there to feel this pain about? What is there to be this worried about? 
what is loneliness anyway in the face of all of these things that we are facing? Um, and I suppose many of us are also thinking that um, why, why do I even feel this? Why should I give this attention when there are so many other things that need my attention and my care and my energy. Um, that's why it may be difficult to talk about this because many of us are maybe thinking, no, you know, I'm fine, I have food, I have a place to stay, I have ways of communicating with people. Like, how ungrateful am I that even if I have all of this, I still feel this thing. So maybe they just throw it out the window or ignore it. But what I'm saying is, and I'm, I'm talking to you, the people who, who might feel that or think that. Um, this feeling is real, and perhaps it needs to be acknowledged. And yes, even if it's unpleasant, unwelcome, and out of place, we can still try to hold it and see what it's telling us, so that it can be expressed. Maybe we can begin by asking it, you know, what are you telling me? What is this loneliness for? And that's where I start. I, ask, I started asking myself that every time I caught it. And what I tried to do was to ask it in a non-judgmental way. You know, to really ask myself, to, to try to ask myself gently. To try to be open to what that little heavy feeling is really telling me. And... The moment I start doing that, I realize, oh, maybe that's step one. Because the moment I did that, I kind of felt that, oh, that part of me needs attention. It's a part of me that needs attention, affection, understanding, and gentleness. And maybe it's a part of me that was finding it difficult to make sense of everything that's happening and maybe doesn't need to make sense of it but just needs a hug there's a part of me that just wants some comfort and maybe it's strange to feel it right now because maybe many of us are used to validating this feeling through others when we seek out comfort and affection in others and there's nothing wrong with that but one, maybe for some of us, it's a little difficult to get that right now. So what if we had another option? Maybe also this is one of those things we could just learn because we're here. Maybe we could learn to give ourselves that comfort, you know, that gentleness, that understanding and affection. Maybe we could learn to give that to ourselves. So in my practice, this is called self-compassion. And I know it might feel weird and it might feel fake, um, but like anything that can be learned, it will be like that at first and then after a while it'll just be something you can really, really give yourself, like, like a, a skill. So next time you feel that pang of pain, you know, that sensation behind your eyes that you're just about to cry, I do want to invite you to, instead of dismissing it or ignoring it, to take a moment to just sit with this part of you that is feeling this feeling. Maybe, maybe listen to what it's telling you. Okay. Is, it, is it telling you that oh, you're tired? That you're hurt? Maybe it's just saying, I miss people. I miss this person. And just to listen, to allow that part of you to express that whatever that is, pain, that it's, it's trying to minimize because of everything else that's happening. Maybe you could even say something comforting to that part of you. Okay. What do you need? Do you need a break? Do you need a nap? Do you need a good cry? Do you need a hug? What does this part of you need to hear? Maybe it's hurting and it's wanting to hear something, words of comfort from someone else. But maybe you could tell yourself that. Okay. Maybe you could give that to yourself. Maybe it's as simple as saying, you know, it's okay. 
it's a really weird time. You're missing people. You've never been in this situation before. You don't know what exactly is going to happen next. So it's okay that you feel this. You don't have to have yourself together all the time. Okay. Maybe you could even tell yourself, you know, like, you know how you talk to your friends. You know how you give comfort and support to your friends. Why don't you try to give that to yourself? Maybe you could tell yourself as you would tell your friend, you know. You know, I'm here. I'm with you here. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. I am with you. And maybe if we are able to do these kinds of things with ourselves in all of this, well, that's definitely a new skill that could maybe be helpful to us even outside of the situation. Now, it's really important to be able to reach out and support each other, and it's always great to see it happen. But maybe what this situation is also showing us is that, well, we could also learn to give that love and support to ourselves too, because we need it. So um, that's it for today. I hope I got to give you a little validation to those of you who were feeling this way. Uh, if you have thoughts, questions, or stories you want to share with us, you can reach out to me through letters at 8bitfiction.com or through the forum at 8bitfiction.com or, of course, as usual, through our Twitter and Facebook. Um, so that's it for today. Um, I'm Moonshine, and um, I hope you got something from that. Uh, see you again next week.